Hello YouTube, this is Eli, the OBD Tech. I'm here working on a 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer ES with the 2.0 liter engine. This vehicle came in with two problems. One was the uh, faulty catalytic converter. As you can see, you know, I have already uh, removed the, the manifold with the, with the catalytic converter. You know, I'm just waiting for the part to arrive. And the second problem is the vehicle came with it was the, um, the cooling fans kept running even with the key on engine off and during uh, engine operation customer said that the fans just well, will keep running as long as there was power to the fans and and he also noticed that a couple of days ago that um, that one of the fans stopped working he said that it was the one on this side which is the right side fan currently um I don't know which one's the, the main cooling fan and and the one uh, for the AC fan but he said that the one that's on this side stopped working and he said that this one which is on the left side he said that that fan is st still works and he also noticed that um, well he said that that when he noticed that the fan stopped working that also his um, that his cooling gauge would uh, go a little bit above the normal uh, temp range on his gauge so I guess the next step is to check the operation of these uh, cooling fans all right guys all right guys so you know so after looking at the uh, fan control circuit a wiring diagram I was able to conclude this is a module to module communication it is a pull down design meaning that the fan module provides five volts through uh, through pin two, which is a control wire, uh, which which goes which gets grounded, which the computer grounds those five volts to ground. Um, which, uh, in other words, this uh, this operation with key on, engine off, or during uh, a, uh, a cold startup, um, like like the way this operation works is that the PCM turns the fans off by applying a ground to the uh, control wire between PCM and fan controller with no ground basically equals both fans are on so like I said with the key on engine off um, the uh, the uh, the, P the ECM slash PCM actually provides a ground so a, a ground with the transistor on equals zero volts which is fans off with the transistor off it equals 5 volts and the fans are on so in other words you know if we back, uh, back probe uh, the pin 2 connector on uh, for the fan control module with the transistor on with in other words with key on engine off the control wire should be reading zero uh, basically zero volts and the fan should be off um, but when the computer commands the fans to operate the transistor actually um, turns off which provides 5 volts and the fan sh should kick in so you know so so the control wire should read 5 volts with the with the uh, both fans actually kicking in so that's the way the you know the ECM PCM control module operates these fans by by the input signals which are the AC switch the ECT sensor and the vehicle speed sensor so depending on those input signals, the computer is going to control the uh, um, uh, the operation of, of these fans. So like I said, with the key on, engine off, our control wire should read zero volts. But as soon as the computer commands these fans to operate, th that control wire on pin 2 should read 5 volts. Alright guys, so let's go out there and do our tests. Alright guys, you know, so I'm here back at the engine compartment. I'm going to show you guys where the uh, fan control module lives. It lives right here. Uh, it lives next to the cooling fan that's located on the left side. Um, so now you know, I'm going to show you guys the symptom that the customer is, is talking about. Alright guys, you know, so this is the symptom, uh, symptom that the customer was talking about. With the key on, engine off, the fans are uh, basically operating. 
um, so far you know the only one that I see uh, spinning is the one on the left side you know next to the uh, fan control module and the one that's located on this side is not even um, spinning so so that confirms that the customer was right he said that he, that he noticed this uh, you know a couple of day, uh, days ago that is that this fan stopped working and that his uh, cooling gauge on his dash was a little bit above the normal range so so like I said currently the fan is it is running well you know what if I unplug the connector for this fan for you know for this control module oh there you go so you see if I disconnect the connector the, the fan does stop working so like I said I'm thinking maybe a problem either in the fan control module being faulty or we have a problem on the driver on the ECM since like I since, since I mentioned that the ECM uh, provides the ground to the 5 bolts that the fan module sends to the, to the ECM so like I said this is a pull down design that the, uh, the fan sends 5 volts and the computer grounds those 5 volts to ground so so I'm thinking maybe you know we have maybe an open transistor on the um, ECM or we have maybe a shorted condition inside the fan control module that's causing this um, this um, condition and like I said the PCM turns the fans off by applying the ground to the control wire between the PCM and fan controller with no ground the both fans should kick in so like I said currently with the key on it is normal for the ECM to ground those 5 volts so next is to uh, do some voltage checks on the connector all right so the first of um, so the first voltage check that, you know, that I'm going to perform it's on the main harness connector that goes to the fan control module I'm going to just check to see if, uh, if this uh, connector is providing uh, the full voltage source and if it's providing a, a a working ground as you can see this connector has three wires the first uh, the first wire on the on the left on the right side it's a thick blue wire that's our voltage source that comes from the fan control relay that's pin one and the one in the middle that's our control wire that's pin two that comes from the uh, ECM and that's our control wire and the one on the left side is that thick black wire that's our, our chassis ground which comes from uh, uh, ground G13 which I believe it's uh, located right here that's our ground that provides uh, for that fan control module and also you know provides ground for, you know for other uh, uh, sensors all right guys so like i said the first voltage check i'm gonna uh do is on the uh pin one the th uh thick gauge wire i'm gonna connect that connect it back to the module and see if you know if we're getting the proper voltage to this fan module all right guys all right guys so this is the uh the voltage that we're reading on that pin one on that blue gauge wire it's reading 12.5 which is good which is reading a uh, battery voltage but currently the fan is still sp it is spinning but it's spinning slowly but this is what the spinning of uh, fan so it means that the fan is that the fan control module is getting its voltage source which is coming like I said it's just coming from the fan relay so ne next thing I'm gonna back probe the ground wire which is pin 3 the black wire all right guys all right so this is our, our ground wire which is on pin 3 the thick black wire it's currently reading 0 0.01 which is less than 100 millivolts this is approximately 10 millivolts but currently the fan is still it is still spinning but spinning very slow what if I try to wiggle this fan module so there we go I just touched the module and the fan started actually spinning faster and our voltage ground went up to 0 0.04 so this is with a 
so as the fan is running you know our ground voltage does go you know a bit higher you know since there's a since there is a load and a load into this uh, system so you can see the more I think about it that maybe this fan module is the fault of this uh, condition of these fans what if I touch the fan module again see uh, as I as I wiggle the fan module our ground voltage s seems to fluctuate but it's still within range less than 100 millivolts so you can so there you go so the fan stopped working on our voltage dropped to 0 0.01 so the more I think about it guys I think we found the culprit problem it's a faulty fan control module I'm gonna let go the fan is still spinning but spinning very slow I'm gonna you know wiggle the uh, fan module one more time I'm gonna tap on it I guess it, this is an intermittent problem with this fan module there's probably I'm thinking maybe a, sh a shorted condition on this control module that's causing this fans to basically run all right guys so the next step is to back pro the uh, middle wire which is a control wire and see you know what kind of voltage are we getting there all right so with key on engine off our middle wire which is a control wire it's a light it's a light blue color on the middle wire pin 2 it's currently showing 0 0.05 this is with the spinning cooling fan that is spinning slowly so like I said, remember this is a pull down design where the PCM grounds the 5 volts that's coming from the fan module. So like I said, with the transistor on, our reading on that control wire should be approximately 0 volts in which we're basically reading. We're reading approximately 0 volts. So, so far that's looking good. The PCM probably is not the problem of this, of this fans uh, being on with the key on engine off alright guys so the next thing I'm gonna perform guys just to verify that the PCM is not the fault I'm gonna uh, take a test light to battery positive and, uh, and front probe the control wire and and then you know I'm gonna use uh, my enhanced scan tool to, to do some bi-direction control and command the uh, driver to actually command the uh, fan to turn on all right guys all right guys so this next test you know the um uh, that i'm going to perform with the test light is going to basically direct us to a either faulty driver on the ecm or a faulty fan module uh for these fans that's causing this uh symptom that the fans run during key on engine off operation and during engine operation all right guys so currently i have my voltmeter also back probe with the key on engine off our control wire is reading 0 0.04 which is the same voltage with the connector plugged in it means that the computer is providing the ground to this to this uh control wire now like i said i'm going to take a my test light to battery positive i'm going to touch ground on the battery post just to confirm that the light is working and like i said this is uh this is a pull down design. This is very important to know, you know, where to connect your, your you know, your, your test light. If it was a pull up design, you know, I would have put my test light to uh, to negative um, battery pulse. But this, since this is a pull down design, I'm gonna I put my connect my test light to battery positive. Since the con since our control wire is uh, providing a ground. This test light should should be uh, lit, and let's remember that this uh, the PCM turns the fan on, actually turns off by applying by actually applying a ground to the control wire between the PCM and fan controller. And remember that no ground equals both fans on. So so with the ground, so with the zero volt condition, the fan should be off. 
All right, so you know, so, you know, so I'm gonna back probe the, uh, actually front probe the middle wire, which is a control wire that comes from the ECM. So this light, so the test light should, uh, uh, should light. As you can see, our test light did light. It is on, and our voltage dropped to 0 0.24 since we're providing a load to this control wire. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to do some bi-directional control with my uh, enhanced scan tool and, and I'm going to command this uh, uh, this co the computer to turn on the uh, the fans which remember with the transistor off our voltage should be about about 5 volts with the fans on but since you know since the connector is not connected to the fan module our voltage reading on the on our voltmeter is going to read about 12 volts since the test lights is, since the test lights coming uh, is connected to a 12 volt battery source. You know we're going to read about approximately 12 volts. So like I said, I'm going to command the scan tool to basically remove the ground on this control wire. I'm going to hit the radiator fan low, and I'm going to hit OK to you know to you know to perform this test. Remember. Right now, currently, this test light is being lit on. So once I hit OK, this test light should uh, should turn off. If the test light turns off, that means our that our control wire from the connector all the way to the computer it's a, it's in good condition, no shorts or grounds. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm gonna hit OK. As you can see, our test light did turn off. This just confirms that our control wire is in good condition. As you can see, our test light did come back. I, I guess this, um, this, the software has the uh, timer. It's about maybe I think five seconds, and then it goes back to per, um, providing the ground on this control wire. So once the, the light did turn off, it means that the computer removed the ground on this control wire. You know, so well, you know, so uh, so I'm gonna hit it one more time, and let's watch our voltmeter. Like I said, currently our, vo our voltmeter is showing 0 0.24 volts. So you know, I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna command the uh, the computer to remove that ground and that this voltage should climb to approximately 12 volts. So here we go guys. So this just further confirms that this control wire is in good condition. So you can see our voltage clamp to uh, battery voltage source 12.17, which is good. It went back to zero. Like I said, um, there's a timer on this on this bike directional control. So this just basically confirms that our control wire is in good condition, and the problem lies within this fan control module. All right, guys. All right. So this next step, I'm gonna perform with. Uh, with the connector plugged in into the control module, I'm going to do a, a bi-directional control with the scan tool. I just want to see if the uh, control module is able to control these these fans. So currently, with the transistor off, with the, actually with the transistor on, our voltage is zero volts, which is good. And remember, with the transistor on equals zero volts, fan should be off. With the transistor off. Uh, voltage equals 5 volts and the fan should should kick in so this, this step I'm gonna perform I'm just gonna verify this if our if our ECM is able to control these fans on so here we go you know so I'm gonna do a bi-directional control once again with my scan tool and let's watch our voltage if the if this uh if the computer is able to control these fans uh, these this voltage that we're seeing here should climb to approximately five volts. So with the transistor off, our voltage should be about five volts and the fan should kick in. So here we go. Currently, our fan is spinning, but it's spinning very slow. So this is still a problem. And uh, like I said, I believe this is the fan control module being default. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna control the scan tool to operate this fan. This voltage should climb to five volts. So here we go, guys. It's about 4.91. Our fan is kicking in. It's spinning faster. It, it, it slowed down. It means, uh, like I said, this, this, um, uh, this, you know, this bike direction control has a timer. 
So this just verifies that our computer is able to operate these fans. All right, guys. So the next uh, the next step is just to replace the fan control module. All right, guys. So after heading to the junkyard, I was able to find a good used working uh, fan control module. I already have it installed, and I have a back probe too to the control wire. And this is the defective control module that was causing these fans to operate during a non uh, cooling fan operation to key on engine off all right so you know since i have my bowling already back probing the control wire it's also showing 0 0.05 this is with key on engine off as you can see our fans are not operating during key on engine off so this is a good sign that 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 our culprit problem was the uh, fan control module so I guess so. The next step, just to verify the um, our fix, is to uh, do uh, some bi-directional control with our scan tool and command these fans to basically turn on. Oh, and by the way, you know, since I haven't checked the condition on this fan, on this cooling fan over here on this side, since the customer, since we verified that the fan di didn't turn on, um, by me performing this bi-directional uh, bi control. I'm basically going to uh, also verify the condition on this uh, fan uh, on this fan motor to see if this if the uh, problem was a faulty fan motor that just went out, or if the fan control module was causing this fan to stop operating. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm going to do some bidirectional control while watching our our voltage. So right now it's showing 0 0.04. So I'm going to command the uh, the computer to turn these fans on so in this voltage should climb to approximately five volts so here we go guys here you go showing approximately five volts i'm going to go back to the fans it seems actually both fans did kick in so this verifies that the fan control module was the cause of this fan to uh was the cause of this fan to stop operating so you know so i'm gonna hit it one more time and let's watch our fans here you go. i'm gonna command it once again so here you go both fans are kicking in on both sides so this basically it's a fix guys it was a faulty control module so hopefully this video helps anyone out there with the problem with on a mitsubishi lancer so thanks for watching subscribe if you like all right guys so this is uh further uh, evidence to back up my uh my diagnosis saying that the problem is the cooling fan control module this is a um a technical service bulletin that i found on all data this is uh produced in uh on t september 2004 subject was a cooling fan controller uh, the purpose is to, uh, due to a manufacturing problem, a, a solder connection in the cooling fan controller may crack, causing a short circuit in the controller. This condition may result in engine overheating. To to basically fix this problem is to basically replace the cooling fan controller on all affected vehicles using the new improved parts listed in the in this bulletin. Uh, the affected vehicles. Are basically the 2003-2004 Outlander models produced before July 2003 and the 2002-2003 Lancer models produced before July 2003 and finally the 2003 Lancer Evolution models produced before July 2003 so this is basically like I said further evidence that the problem is it is the uh, fan control module and hopefully you know this also helps people out there you know who owned these uh, vehicles through those um, through those years. All right.